Hey Stampers! Welcome to another week of Watch a Weekly Wednesday. I'm Aubrey, part of the Stampin' Jill Creative Team. And today I'm excited to share with you an idea that we received from a good Stampin' friend, Anita Marcy. She gave us this super cute Hello Fall treat idea. And I recreated it and wanted to share it with you because it is so adorable and actually really easy to do. So, if you just pull up on this ribbon, a little caramel treat comes out. So fun and really simple to do. So I wanted to show that to you. I'm calling this the ribbon slider treat box. So fun. So, like I said, I created my own Christmas one because I think it's so cute. I wanna give it as little Christmas treat gift for my friends and just put a little chocolate in there. One of those cute Ghirardelli square chocolates fits great in there. Okay, so let me show you how to do this. You will need a piece of ribbon, any ribbon will do, a piece of designer series paper or pattern paper. This is six by three. This will be your inside piece. This is one and 15 sixteenths by two and 15 sixteenths. I know that's kind of crazy if it is easier for you. It's a little bit smaller than two inches and a little bit smaller than three inches. And that's gonna be the inside piece. And then you'll need something to do a saying on. So I have already put tear and tape on this edge and this edge. So on the inside right edge and the outside left edge of my designer series paper. And I'm just going to curl that around each other. You're not going to squish it down or score it. And just make sure that your slider piece can fit in and out of it before you adhere it down. So I just like to take off one of my sides of the paper and just kind of fit that in there and then adhere it down. You don't want it too loose and you don't want it too tight but you want it straight too. There we go. Just like that. And then that can still slide in and out and then you'll adhere down your other side. I like to do one at a time so that I'm not sticking everywhere with both sides. Okay. And then you're going to take the top of your little wrapped box here and you're going to punch a hole in it. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that the hole that you punch is large enough for your ribbon to fit through and be able to slide through. So you're gonna punch that through both sides of the top of your little treat box. And you're going to punch a hole in the bottom of that little one by one and 15 sixteenths by two and 15 sixteenths piece. So this is what those two will look like, okay? And then you're going to take your ribbon and you're going to thread it through that hole on your inside piece, just like this. And then you're gonna act like this is going into the middle and either side is going to go into the holes, if that makes sense, because that's how it's going to go in, is just straight down the middle of that. So either side will just thread through, just like that. And then when you push it down, it brings the ribbon with it. And when you pull the ribbon up, it comes up, just like that. Super simple. So then you just grab a little Ghirardelli chocolate square or whatever candy you want to put in there. And you're just going to situate it right in between that ribbon in the front and your little piece of paper, your cardstock in there, and it just holds it right for you. Tie a little knot or a bow, I like a bow. And then you can lift it up and down. And then you have to top it off with a little saying. I'm just using one of my favorite saying sets. This is the good feeling set. And we'll just stamp a thank you and attach that right on the front. 
just like that. So simple. Here's one that I did yesterday with the red plaid. And then you have your green one. Just like that. So cute. So simple. You could make a ton of these really quickly for teacher gifts or for a little neighbor gift for your neighbors for Christmas. It's up to you. But I loved the idea and thank you so much Anita Marcy for sharing your idea with us. If you have any questions or you want to share your ideas with us, make sure to comment below or visit us on our social media platforms at Stamping Jill. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next week for another Watch It Weekly Wednesday.